Hi everybody, this is Ty William and this is a celebrity psychic reading. I'm going to keep the video short and um, this celebrity psychic reading is, is CL going to release her album. Um, yes or no. Um, somebody sent me um, request on the question on um, CL going to release her album. Um, let me get intuition. And this is, this is short. Okay. CL going to release the album around November or fall of this year. If not, it's going to be next year. Because I see that um, they trying to not have her in competition with anyone in the K-pop scene. And so, I feel like they're trying to work with her um, image, her new image, her new look, her new style. I feel like um, they're going to do something with her hair and her look. Um, I feel like um, what I'm getting, she is overly analyzing everyone's um, comments and quotes and uh, um, statements that make her insecure about her um, decision and her preparation to break free from the K-pop scene. And I feel like she doesn't want to be an idol. I feel like she wants to be seen as a I would say celebrity but also an artist and I feel like YG Entertainment doesn't know what to do to her or they block in so much opportunity for her um I have so many opportunities um and they just blocking it for some reason I feel like they sabotaging her um, career um, that that make her fear um, failure. I feel like she's afraid of failure in the American market, and I see her faith in her fears of like get, getting it over with. I just like release the album. Um, to make people um, see. Like, I feel like this album gonna be a trailblazer album for, like, Korean um, idols who want to make it big in America. And I feel like there's a stigma of Asian musicians and artists um not being very popular um when it comes to acting or or doing movies but when it comes to music you don't really hear lots of musicians or rappers in in America you know um like the stereotype and I feel like CL trying to break that mold so bad that she forgot herself to be who she is in the past and when she debuted she was very passionate of learning the music industry you know her craft and I feel like she forgot her ways. Like she's so focused on 
being seen as a celebrity but not as an artist like I, like I see her like posting pictures with celebrities like being an Instagram fame whore you know um attention whore the like fame attention whore instead people was like kind of like fed up with her like we know you sing we know you rap are you gonna release a mixtape and I think that's a problem with her at the moment and that's her fear like will they boo her will they tarnish her uh, my advice CL if you are the baddest bitch baddest bitch don't fear failures Baddest bitch will keep on moving and make a name for herself through her talent and through her music. And you think that your talent is about posting pictures on Instagram and modeling and looking glamorous and taking pictures celebrity. Think again. You could do music. If you wanted to, it's just that you're afraid of criticism. I'm just gonna be honest right there because I feel like she could be one of the biggest stars if she be herself, be mindful for everyone around her, don't hang around with fake people who do not help you succeed. If you don't like what they say about you, keep on moving and do you. Stop pleasing others. Stop pleasing what the fans want. And I think that's the biggest problem with her also is that she is so focused on her Instagram followers, her Instagram um, people with Sky Dragon and and do what they tell her to do instead of she need to get her ass in the studio and do some mixtape, do some music or do a interview or a documentary about her life. And that's what I see too. I feel like there's going to be a documentary coming for her in November around her album release. If not, it's going to be next year. And that's when she's going to see lots of opportunity coming for her. It's about... Um, she needs to release an album. You know, that's all I have to say. This is Ty Williams. Good day and goodbye.